the chips that we saw, the auger, basically pull them onto this belt, and the belt brings it up, deposits into the tank, and the auger weighs deposits into this blue tank up top here, and the bottom of that blue tank is another set of augers that drive it out back, and then there's a set of augers that drive it into the boiler. Oh, sorry, they come into the back of the boiler. The augers themselves act as a seal, the augers on the wood act as a seal in the back of the boiler so that heat and stuff is coming out the back. Underneath, the, the inside the bottom half, and actually, it's just a per commercial first boiler, the top is. They buy it off the shelf. Messersmith Corporation um, is from Michigan, the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, builds this firebox that's underneath it, basically. There's a platform inside that goes like this from up in the back. They blow air under it, and that grate there is full of perforated holes. So the air comes under, and there's some air that's blown over. The computer for the boiler looks at return water temperature. You send the water out at 185, a little lower than you would normally with a regular boiler plant. Um, and the computer looks at the temperature coming back to see how much has gone off it and adjusts the flame, the amount of fuel that it's sending into it. And it increases the air every 5% of fuel. It does something else with the air and has a different setup. It automatically does everything. The ash, as you can see in the pail right here, and there's another one right behind you, the same thing. That's what the ash looks like. And they say it just got spread right on the fields and disintegrates. Um, the scrubber over the other side is called a multi-cyclone, meaning it spins the particulate until it drops out. And there's another black barrel. That's what we use underneath over there. And this plant, using 550 tons of chips a year, we fill about one and a half of those black ones out of the scrubber a year. And that stuff is as fine like talcum powder. It's a light, light gray, and there may be some on the top of it over there. The dust on the top is like a fine talcum powder. Is the, I guess the fly ash is what they call it coming out of there. Um, so we're basically sending nothing into the atmosphere. Nothing at all. We live in a, we're in a residential district here. We don't have any complaints, trucks, any deliveries. I haven't come between 9 and 1 when there's the least traffic around here. It's not bothering anybody. Um, the truck's here for half an hour, 45 minutes. Um, that's the longest time of anything. I basically check on this myself and keep an eye on it, only because at the beginning I didn't know what was going to happen. So, And now it's, I have no maintenance people or technicians or anybody else even looking at it. I, you know, I get up in the morning, we have 14 buildings in the district, push the button for the coffee, 3.30, 4 o'clock, sit down at the computer, see what it's doing. If everything's good, Get the newspaper. <laughs> you know, that's a, with the um, availability of these automated building systems today, any place in the world, you get online, you can see what this thing's doing. You know, it's amazing.